While I've played a lot of games similar to Blackbird, I've never played a game quite like Blackbird. This game is just bizarre. It's something off the wall and weird that is borderline assaulting with its idiosyncrasies. But then the shoot em up controls are just analog stick for movement, button to shoot, another button for bombs, and that's it. The mixture of that simplicity and the level of weirdness works really well. The settings around me might throw me off, but I have total control over my potentially villainous bird. The bird you control is a possibly evil form that a little girl takes on after she dies and no one cares. It's... it's really dark. Like, that's just... that's what happens. It's a little girl, she falls down, she's dead, she turns into this bird, and then she just takes everybody down with her. Uh, the levels are, are you starting off as this bird, and then people start shooting at you, and you start shooting whatever your bird is shooting at them, and you try to kill everybody. Um, and then in between levels, there's interstitials that add more to the story. If you can get through the main game, and then get through the deeper, more difficult true mode, which is basically a new game plus, then you can find out even more about the story. There's multiple endings. It's, it's, it's out there, man. I don't, it, it just... It's, it's weird. But the gameplay is really kind of straightforward. It's essentially a shooter in the style of Fantasy Zone. But instead of taking the good drugs that result in a colorful world with characters named Opa Opa, Blackbird feeds you the bad drugs and you go on a bad trip, as your devilish bird rains fury across a dark world. Each stage takes place in a looping, horizontally scrolling area where you fly around, firing at enemies and dodging fire. The goal is to destroy these different towers, that they're all marked on your map very nicely and clearly, and once you take them all down, you move to a boss fight. And then, uh, jewels drop from the enemies, and then you can upgrade your bird. There's there's no kind of selection process, it just happens automatically as you get enough jewels. Uh, and then you fight these bosses that are all these gorgeously designed and animated things that have very easy-to-find weak spots and and are usually really tough. I enjoyed my time with Blackbird, but it's fleeting, unforgiving, and very tough. You can read my more formal review over at NintendoWorldReport.com, but part of the reason why this video isn't the channel staple of reading that text cut to video is because I don't like that I had to give Blackbird a 7 out of 10. It's awesome. It's just that, despite its spectacular style, gorgeous art, and... <laughs> oh yeah, wait, I forgot that the soundtrack has uh, heavily features operatic vocals in a made-up language. Because why not? And, but anyway, but despite all of those awesome things, this game's just really short and it's super hard and unforgiving. The replayability is there, but only if you get really good at it and can blaze through true mode and see all the different endings and find the unlockables and stuff. I recommend that if anything that I've described intrigues you so far, check out Blackbird. The price is a little steep for what it is, but it's just such a damn cool game. It's also got a hell of a pedigree. Blackbird comes from Onion Games, a Japanese indie developer. If you played or heard about the mobile game Million Onion Hotel, this is that same developer. But where you've probably heard of the people involved in this game is Little King Story, No More Heroes, and Shadows of the Damned. Yoshiro Kimura is the head of Onion Games, and you might know him as the Little King Story guy. He also has history with Square with the romancing saga games in the 90s. Of note, the artist Kazuzuki Kirishima, I probably got that wrong, uh, he worked on Super Mario RPG and Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land on character designs, which, I don't know, I mean, it's kind of cool that probably the guy that worked on Mallow uh, made whatever the hell is going on in this game. So yeah, if you want to see what those guys are up to, there's another reason to check out Blackbird. I wish I could more wholeheartedly recommend this game. But, <laughs> you know, screw it. I don't care if it's short or hard. Blackbird's rad. Like, just look at this crazy art. It's gorgeous. The music is ridiculous and great, too. We need more games like Blackbird. I just hope they're a little bit easier and longer in the future. So that's all I got to say about Blackbird. If you like this format and want us to see uh, do this maybe a little more often instead of our regular review reading stuff, let us know in the comments below, and maybe we'll do it if the, the moon strikes right. Uh, if not, uh, feel free to check out our other content on Nintendo World Report. We're going to have a lot more stuff about all those Switchy Shop games that you might have heard of or not heard of, as well as all the big Nintendo Switch games that are upcoming or in the past. Like uh, Starlink, we got a review of that up, and we'll definitely have stuff on Pokemon and Super Smash Brothers. So check us out. Thanks. Bye.